Hello everyone, welcome to my YouTube channel Learn Just with Mahesh. Uh, first of all, thanks a lot. Uh, the video which I created yesterday uh, rela related to the chat uh, GPT uh, was one of the best views I would see. So it was almost like 554 views. Uh, it was like almost like double the views which I had seen for any of the videos which I have done in the past. So first of all, thanks a lot folks. Um, so in today's video, we wanted to do uh, take a small topic, which is a very important one. And I have seen many times uh, people reach out to me in LinkedIn, send me a direct message uh, asking like, uh, what is that which I should do to make sure that I'm ready for taking a certification? So in simple terms, are you ready to take the uh, Google Cloud certification? A quick reality check which you can do it by yourself so you don't need to reach out to anybody so you can do it by yourself so uh, the trick is what i wanted to share it with you so it has worked for me so recently i took five certifications in three days was able to clear all the five certifications i'm yet to get the certification so once i get it i'll create a video out of that and share some best practices which i followed so but for today so i wanted to show you a quick reality check which you can do to know whether you are ready to take the exam or you need still more preparation so let's get started all right we are in the official page which talks about all the google cloud certifications which anybody can take depending on what kind of background they come from so for this uh, explanation i'm going to take the the entry level uh, certification which is basically uh, cloud architect and i'll take one more advanced one which is uh, network engineer uh, if you ask me uh, network engineer is one of the most toughest exam i would say so we'll take both the stuffs and compare it and i will show you how do you do the reality check so uh, <coughs> the the way you do the reality check whether you are ready to take associate cloud engineer or not is very simple so you go to the official page the certification so you click on this cloud engineer you'll reach this page so once you reach this page right you will see a specific section called as exam guide this is really really helpful so when you click on this you will see topic wise uh, what needs to be you should be aware so that you can uh, basically it's going to help you to clear the exam easily to a great extent so they have divided associate cloud engineer into six five sections that's what you see it now assume you have spent some some x number of days or x number of months to prepare for associate cloud engineer now, once you have finished all those things, right, come to this section and read this sentence. So setting up a Google Cloud a project and accounts, the activity includes creating a resource hierarchy. Now, when you see this uh, bullet point, creating a resource hierarchy, how much you can talk about it? So can you create a G Cloud command? Can you talk about for it for at least two minutes? Uh, can you visualize certain slides or some videos which you had seen? So if you are able to do it, awesome. So what kind of resource hierarchy? Say for example, so the topmost node in Google Cloud is basically organization node. After that, you'll have folders. Then below the folders, you are going to have uh, projects. So how many folders you can create it? How many nesting you can create it? So inside the project, what you can do? So inside a, uh, a folder node, what you can do? Uh, at an org level, what you can use it? Can I create a virtual machine in an org level? Answer is no. I can create an organization policy inside an org node. So I can create some IAM roles. I can create custom IAM roles. Can I create a custom IAM role in a folder? Not possible. You can create it at a project level or at a org level. So these are the things which should strike you folks. So if you can talk now almost like if it was if it was not, I would say like a minute I was able to talk something about this topic so that is a thing so then a uh, relevant G cloud command so if I want to do something with uh, basically with G cloud command at a folder level I would use G cloud resource manager so that is a command which I'm going to do something like if I want to do something at a project level G cloud projects get I am policy or G cloud organization get I am policy so these are the stuffs which you should be knowing folks so if you can 
talk about this and run some commands then awesome you are good is what I would say and you have to do this repeated for all the bullet points here then when you can do this then you don't need to go and uh, ask anybody so what are the topics which I should cover or uh, am I really prepared should I just only do labs should I just only look into recordings nothing so if you can talk all about this yourself then you're good say for example uh, let's take one more example as a top point uh, configuring cloud DNS I'm just taking randomly the stuffs here so configuring DNS so when it comes to DNS what is the SLA which you have it you should be knowing about that there are two types of DNS which you get a private zone public zone so how do you use private and public that is something which you should be aware of so now uh, <coughs> then uh, how do you secure the DNS something like DNS sec is something there so those kind of a stuff similarly the gcloud command equivalent of it so if you can do these things right regularly for all the bullet points then I would say you are prepared and to be very frank I followed this literally uh, for my uh, recent certification I'm yet to get the official this thing but I have it uh, mentioned in the uh, the criterion portal so uh, I took basically network engineer um, it got expired so it was a new one so it was not a renewal so it was uh, a new one I took security engineer and I had taken a recertification of my cloud architect uh, associate cloud engineer I took it digital uh, leader I took it so among all this five the most toughest one I would say was uh, network engineer so let's look into this part uh, and for preparing for this one right I had a short time because I had few trainings all those things so I had to basically uh, uh, do prepare quickly so the way I took it was basically this approach the same thing uh, go to the exam guide looked into each and every bullet points few things was not something which I had tried it before so I had to basically look into it so uh, say for example uh, DNS uh, strategy so the failover option in DNS itself now recently they have introduced few options where you can do uh, balancing uh, using uh, say for example uh, normal uh, DNS when you have it with along with the load balancer what you can have it is you can route the traffic to the closest region so now you can do something like uh, uh, based on a round robin option is there uh, based on the proximity is there so that is something which you can do so that is something which I saw and in DNS itself you have lots of DNS peering option DNS forwarding option there are lots of options so, so that needs to be explored so that is something which I had to do so uh, that's one thing uh, data exfiltration the moment the word you hear the data exfiltration it is nothing but VPC service control so what are the services for which you can apply VPC service control there are few products for which you cannot apply for example cloud shell you cannot apply for it Google Cloud console you cannot apply for it so those kind of a stuff is what you should be prepared folks so um, there was one topic which I had never looked into it I had to look into this so this one uh, equal cost multi-part so um, I do had I had also seen some questions on this uh, topic so it was good that I looked into this before the exam looked into the articles documentation tried to do a little bit of a demonstration so which helped me out uh, but believe me network engineer was too difficult too difficult uh, out of all the five exam which I took the the most difficult one was uh, network engineer and the most easiest one was uh, digital leader so uh, I'll talk more about this in one more video uh, but the gist which I want to talk is a quick reality check if you want to do it the simple stuff is no need to ask anybody go to that certification which you want to take click on the uh, exam guide section of it uh, exam guide everything it's the same pattern which Google follows for every exam just click on it and uh, you are good and go take each and every point folks load balancing different types of load balancing layer 7 layer 4 uh, internal load balancer external load balancer so you need to be knowing each and everything of that so and G cloud command believe me or not every exam talks or tests your G cloud command skills uh, whether it's an uh, A's or a network engineer does not matter they test it in every exam that's what I have seen at least in the last five exams which I took um, 
22nd 21st 22nd and 23rd i took uh, in december so it was basically tested in every exam basically so this is how you basically do a quick reality check if you are not able to talk about any particular topic i would say please prepare completely and then go take the exam and don't even leave a even a single bullet point here that's the key part folks so that's a video which i wanted to share today so a quick reality check just go to the exam guide of every exam exam which you want to take and check whether you can talk about each and every topic uh, at least for two minutes and have a g cloud command for that so that's a video which i wanted to share today hope you like it thank you for watching